boycott, divestments, and sanctions, uh, my opinion is that it's not a question, from my point of view, it's not a question of whether in principle you agree with it or not. It's a question of practically what works. And the aspects of the boycott, divestment, and sanction strategy, which focus on Israeli illegalities, boycotting companies which have investments in the occupied territories and the settlements, calling for an arms embargo on transfer of weapons to Israel. All of those aspects of the boycott, divestment, and sanctions policy, in my opinion, have uh, quite good prospects for success because they're grounded in international law. Uh, once you start venturing into areas where there doesn't exist uh, that kind of legal moral consensus, uh, the uh, boycott, divestments, and sanctions uh, proves to be a much weaker, or uh, the prospects pre prove to be, in my opinion, uh, much less auspicious. Uh, I would also say I don't think it's entirely clear that the right model is South Africa because uh, in the current international climate, the focus for trying to bring countries to account are human rights law and laws of war. Uh, that is, seems to be the focal strategy now. Not boycott divestments and sanctions, but international criminal court, international tribunals, holding <coughs> Israel to account on the basis of universal jurisdiction, making Israelis fear traveling abroad because of the prospects of being prosecuted, and also one of the major outcomes of the Gaza massacre or Gaza terroristic attack, uh, one of the major outcomes of it was that Israelis were seized with great fear that they won't be able to carry on, carry out another massacre in the near future. That international public opinion simply will not tolerate it. Uh, and there were many uh, quite mainstream and insightful columnists who worried that the main fallout from what happened in Gaza is that Gaza may be for Israel the last throw of the dice. That it certainly can do again what it did. Uh, but that's all within the framework of the international human rights law and laws of war. It's not within the framework of BDS. Uh, I read some odd, strange columns where people on, within our movement were claiming Goldstone is a victory for BDS, but I really don't know from what planet that dropped. 